Hey guys, Alicia here with Alicia Reviews, and today we are reviewing Stokes. So do you like my nice, my nice little spectacles? Little spectacles. So Storks is a movie about a company of storks that decide to get out of the baby delivery service and start to deliver regular goods. Kind of like Amazon, only faster. So the plant is about to get a new boss and the new boss's first task is to fire the orphan girl that lives there. She's about to turn 18 and they're wanting to let her go, but some things happen and she ends up making a baby to be delivered. That sounds really wrong. She actually ends up running into the machine that used to make the babies that the storks would deliver and she accidentally creates a baby and the whole movie is about getting the baby to the family that it belongs to. Okay, so this film um, is voiced by Andy Samberg, and if you are familiar with Andy, then you know his type of humor. He's kind of like the obvious comedian in this film, which is funny because it's Andy and that's the way he is. There were some points during the film though that I was like, okay, it's starting to get a little annoying. There is a particular character in the film that I don't know if this was the point of the film, but the entire time I just wanted to like punch him in the face. Like I wanted him to go away. Like I could have done without this particular character and it's Pigeon Toady. And Pigeon Toady is voiced by Stepan Kramer Glickman. And I know he was supposed to be the annoying kind of outsider character, the tattletale type guy, but Every time he came on the screen, I was like, I really just wish that he wasn't there. Okay, so Pigeon Toady is a good character. There obviously needs to be a Pigeon Toady type character in the film in order for the film to progress and reach its ending. But I feel like there was too much Pigeon Toady and um, he needed to go away really bad or it's really cool that Key and Peel they come in as the, uh, alpha wolf and the beta wolf and they're really funny and the wolves actually um they have some interesting talents so i think that you might enjoy that although very strange very strange interesting talents which on one hand i thought were really funny and then it got to the point where it was a little overboard so i think this film did really well in making you laugh and having funny moments but there were definitely those points where it was like, okay, you've, you've got me here, I'm here, it's good, it's funny, I'm enjoying this, and then, you know, I'm like, Ugh, please stop. So out of five stars, I give this film a three and a half simply because of the comedy, just trying too hard aspects of it. As far as the animation is concerned, I really love the way that the characters are. Just the look of the actual film is very pleasing to the eye. Uh, we saw it in 3D um, during our advanced screening. You don't have to see it in 3D. There aren't too many 3D moments. I really love the baby. The baby's really cute. And the girl, what's her name? Orphan Annie? Orphan Tulip. Orphan Tulip. Orphan Annie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong movie. Sorry. Um, so I really liked her. I thought she was very quirky and um, relatable. Kelsey Grammer is a voice. Jennifer Aniston is a voice. So it has a lot of big name talent in it. Storks comes out this Friday, September 23rd, and is rated PG, so it's definitely a good one to take your kids to. There is some adult humor that the parents can enjoy, but it is geared towards kids. Um, I did see it on a weekend with a bunch of kids, and they were giggling and laughing the whole time, but there were also parents that got a little chuckle as well. The movie is only about an hour and 40 minutes long, so it's not very long. Um, so if you wanna take your really little kids, it's definitely something that they can sit through and enjoy throughout. The animals in the film are really funny, really cute. Um, I, there were a lot of kids that were actually repeating some of the things that each of the characters said. So I think that it's definitely one that the family can enjoy. 
So this weekend, if you're looking to go out and have a family fun movie day, I would say that Storks would be a good choice. Go see the movie if you've seen the trailers and you think it looks cute. If you're not into that sort of thing, then don't go see it. For me, I really wanted to see it. The previews looked really cute and it lived up to my expectations. I wasn't expecting anything really overly fantastic from this film. So it met my expectations and definitely deserves that three and a half stars. As always guys, if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and share. Have a fabulous weekend at the movies and we'll see you next time. Bye! Mwah.